Artificial intelligence is changing our world rapidly. Self-driving cars, Google, and Facebook all use artificial intelligence. But what is artificial intelligence, and how are we using it? For example, you want to build a machine that recognizes images. You show it a lot of examples of cars and tables and chairs, and you tell it every time this is a car, a table, and a chair, and the machine automatically adjusts itself, itself to kind of uh, produce the correct answer, even for objects it's never seen before. So deep learning is a particular way of doing this, where the, the machine itself is composed of multiple layers, and which is why we call it deep. Uh, and the structure of it is sort of very weakly inspired by the architecture of the brain. AI is everywhere, machine learning is everywhere for sure, but even uh, kind of more sophisticated versions of, uh, of, of machine learning like deep learning and AI, certainly the amount of information that's being produced on the, on the, uh, you know, in our digital world nowadays uh, gro has grown very, very quickly. At Facebook, there is a lot of projects on, on deep learning and AI. Uh, a, a portion of it is for image recognition, video understanding and things of that type, but there's a lot of it that concerns text understanding, language understanding translation, speech recognition, uh, and then uh, knowing what, what topic a text is talking about, knowing whether the tone is positive or negative, things like that. You know, society is, is going to be transformed. Uh, there's going to, like every societal transformation, uh, it's going to create opportunities, but also uh, pain a little bit. A lot of jobs are going to be displaced. Uh, new jobs are going to be created. The global wealth of, of the you know, economy is going to grow. Uh, so the question is, how will this uh, be essentially distributed among the, the population? You know? What gets me uh, excited is uh, we're going to save lives. Uh, uh, cars are going to have fewer accidents. They're going to drive themselves better than we can. Uh, medicine is going to be revolutionized. And so, uh, again, lives are going to be saved uh, because of better medicine, be better diagnostic tools. Uh, that's very exciting, that's uh, good for society. And then, you know, people are going to be more productive and are going to be able to concentrate on tasks and things that are properly human.